Hello everyone and welcome to the Life Stories channel. Today we are talking about Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa was born on the 22nd of August 1995 in London. The eldest child of Kosovo Albanians Dukajen Lipa and Anissa Lipa from Pristina, Yugoslavia. Her family is of Muslim heritage. Lipa grew up in West Hampstead, London. Lipa was influenced by the musical influences of her father, who was a lead singer and guitarist of the Kosovan rock band Oda. She attended Fitzjohn's Primary School, where her music lessons included the cello. When she auditioned to enter the school choir, the teacher told her that she could not sing. And at the age of nine, she began weekend singing lessons at the Sylvia Young Theatre School. Lipa moved with her family to Pristina after Kosovo declared independence in 2008. There, she learned more about the Albanian language and considered a musical career. Lipa moved back to London at age 15. At Parliament Hill School, she achieved her A-levels, then re-entered Sylvia Young Theatre School part-time. She uploaded her own songs to SoundCloud and on YouTube, she began posting videos of herself covering songs such as If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys and Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Lipa modelled with Topshop and signed with a modelling agency helping her land a role as a singer in an ITV advertisement for The X Factor in 2013, covering the song Lost in Music. In 2013, Lipa signed a contract with Tap Management directed by Ben Mawson and Ed Millett while working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. Lipa was introduced to Mawson by her lawyer, who discouraged her from signing another publishing deal that was offered to her. Subsequently, they offered her a monthly salary to leave her job and focus on recording music. During one of the sessions, Lipa co-wrote the song Hotter Than Hell, which would eventually lead her to signing a record deal with Warner Brothers. Recordings in 2014, Minute retrospectively elaborated, Dua was really smart. She signed to Warner Brothers partly because they didn't have a big female pop artist and they needed one. They really wanted her, so she had to focus on the team from day one. And in August 2015, Lipa released her first single, New Love, produced by Emily Haney and Andrew Wyatt. Her second single, Be The One, was issued to European success in October 2015, reaching number one in Belgium, Poland and Slovakia, as well as charting within the top 10 in over 11 European territories. In Australia and New Zealand, the song became an airplay success, reaching numbers 6 and 20 respectively. In November 2015, she was revealed as one of the acts on the BBC Sound of 2016 long list. Her first tour in the UK and Europe began in 2016, January, and concluded in November 2016. On the 18th of February 2016, Lipa released her third single, Last Dance, followed by Hotter Than Hell on the 6th of May. The latter reached success, particularly in the UK, where it peaked at number 15. Lipa's self-titled debut studio album was released on the 2nd of June 2017, and its sixth single, New Rules, released in the following month, became Lipa's first number one in the UK and the first by a female solo artist to reach the top in the UK since Adele's Hello in 2015. In January 2018, Lipa received nominations in five categories at the Brit Awards, more nominations than any other artist that year. She was nominated for Mastercard British Album of the Year for Dua Lipa, British Single of the Year and British Video of the Year for New Rules, British Female Solo Artist and British Breakthrough Act winning the latter two. This was the first time that a female artist had received five nominations. The singer collaborated with American DJ Wedden on the song High for the Fifty Shades Freed soundtrack released in February 2018. And in January 2019, Lipa released the single Swan Song as part of the soundtrack to the 2019 film Alita Battle Angel. Following the release of its lead single Don't Start Now, Lipa's second album, Future Nostalgia, and its accompanying tour were announced in December 2019. Don't Start Now peaked at number two on both the UK singles chart and the US Billboard Hot 100. It also peaked at number one on the US Billboard Mainstream Top 40 chart. Future Nostalgia was the most streamed album by a woman and fifth most streamed album overall on Spotify in 2020. Together with her father, Dukagen, she also co-created the Sunny Hill Foundation in 2016 to raise funds to help people in Kosovo experiencing financial difficulties. In August 2018, she organized a festival to raise money for that foundation called the Sunny Hill Festival. 
Lipa went on to host the festival for the second year in 2019, with Miley Cyrus included as part of the performer lineup. In April 2019, she became a UNICEF supporter during a three day visit to a camp for refugee children and youth in Beirut, Lebanon. The camp included many uprooted by the conflict in Syria who did not have adequate health care or education, and Lipa also visited young Palestinians and Syrians in the Borj el Barijin refugee camp. She subsequently supported a campaign by her management company with a plan to raise £100,000 to help raise awareness of charities such as the Black Dog and Khan. She asked for better mental health care for artists in the creative industries as she was shocked to read that suicide rates amongst women working in the arts are almost 70% higher than in the world population. Lipa described mental health as at the issue of our generation and on 26 November 2019 Following the 2019 Albania earthquake, Lipa asked fans for donations and support for victims. To raise funds, she co-released a limited edition line of t-shirts called Pray for Albania in collaboration with Albanian fashion designers. All proceeds went to families and victims affected by the seismic event. Lipa identifies as a feminist. She has spoken out against sexism within the music industry using social media to raise awareness of women's problems. Lipa has advocated for social equality amongst the LGBT community and on 12 February 2018 she raised a rainbow flag while performing her song Be The One in a presentation at the Hollywood Palladium in the city of Los Angeles as part of the self-titled tour. On the 2018 Brit Awards red carpet she wore a white rose dress in support of Time Up's movement. Additionally at the same event she stated in her acceptance speech for an award for her delight of having women present in these stages and more women winning awards. On the 12th of March 2018, she waved an LGBT flag while performing Blow Your Mind at a concert at the Palais Theatre of Melbourne. She pointed out the importance of the Me Too movement, claiming that even though she never suffered sexual harassment in her life, she grew up experimenting with Kiss Chase. She also repudiated catcalling because she describes it as a behaviour that affects your mood and that makes people get embarrassed about the way they dress. About sexism in the music industry, she claims that it is harder for female musicians to be taken seriously if you're not sat down at a piano or with a guitar, unlike male artists who people think that they write their own music and for women they assume is all manufactured. In 2013, Lipa began an on-again, off-again relationship with English chef Isaac Carew, from whom she first split in February 2017. Six months later, she started a multi-month relationship with the then lead singer of the American band Lanny, Paul Jason Clean from August 2017 to January 2018. Later, she resumed her relationship with Carew, with whom she would finally date from January 2018 to June 2019. And since the 14th of June 2019, she has been dating Anwar Hadid, the younger brother of the American models Gigi and Bella Hadid. A study conducted by the Office for National Statistics revealed that the number of people born between England and Wales with the name Dua was 63 in 2017, after Lipa reached her first UK number one song with New Rules, that amount increased to 126 in 2019. And in May 2018, she was listed on British Vogue inaugural list of the 25 most influential British women of 2018, with Lipa being the youngest on the list at the age of 22. In its review, praising her 2017 song New Rules as the anthem of female empowerment laid out a blueprint for modern sex lives, in addition to describing her as a culture definer. And in February 2019, the first wax figure about Lipa was unveiled at the Madame Tussauds London, inspired by the appearance of her performance at Glastonbury Festival in 2017. And that's it today guys, if you liked this, then please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.